Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got another big game for you here as we are um, taking on the uh, Chicago Bears at home here at Cleveland. And uh, the Bears come into this with a 4-4 four and four record. We are 3-5, and five, as you already know, and uh, we need a win. We always need a win. And the uh, Cardiac Kids, I tell you, they will um, take years off of your life. You try to manage them. And uh, that ends up... Uh, being kicked off over to Williams for Chicago, who takes the ball up to the 26th and then sort of slides down and gets hurt. And it was looks like there was no one around him uh, when we were looking at that uh, at that uh, chalkboard. But uh, so it is. We're going to go with the man, I think, here today. We're going to keep uh, two zone defensive backs. And um, I think we'll keep this on auto blitz for now. I think we're going to show tight coverage and see if we can sort of uh, confuse them a little bit here. We're going to uh, play for the run. So first and 10, here they go, and they're giving it off, of course, to Walter Payton. And uh, he gets about three yards, and there's a flag on the play, and that's offside on Burrell on the defense. And that's what happens when we try to do something fancy with it. Second and five now, we're going to just uh, key Walter Payton, keep it in a normal man, and uh, see what we can do. And there is that key of Payton, and we are able to prevent him from gaining more than a yard, second and four. And um, I actually think that they're going to run it again. We'll play a tight man coverage here, and let's see if we can stop him. And they are running it this time to Harper, and uh, we stop him after gain of two, so that brings up third and two. And uh, we're going to run just a normal basic defense here because they might pass, but who knows? No, it's going to be a handoff to Payton, and you know how Walter Payton is. I mean, that's automatic. He gains eight yards for the first down, just like that, and it's first and ten for Chicago here. And uh, we are going to uh, have to start looking after Walter Payton and make sure he doesn't uh, just take over. We key him, stop him from getting anywhere but to the line of scrimmage, and there's a personal foul on Scott in the defense, and there's a 15-yard penalty. And, boy, I tell you, that one really hurts, doesn't it? And so just like that, Bears have the ball now in the Chicago 43-yard line, and we've been uh, making the right play calls here early on for the most part, and we keep Hayden again, and we're able to stop him again. This time they gain two, second and eight, and um, I do think that they're going to run, but I'm not going to keep Hayden this time. And they go into that I formation, which is usually a sign they're going to run, and, yes, they do run it to Harper, and we're able to stop him after gain a three, and that brings up third and five. And I think it is time for their first pass of the game. Let's see what happens. And instead, it is a, a little pitch out there to Walter Payton, who uh, has room to run. He gets the first down. That is a gain of nine. And um, uh, there's another injury on that play. Gain of nine there for Payton, who's been able to uh, convert here in third down. The Bears have not passed yet in this game. And we're going to look for that run to Payton. And now is the sort of time where you want to call a pass, so that's what you're going to do. And instead, it's a uh, pitch out over there to Harper, and uh, we are able to get to him. He only gains two on that play, second and eight. And uh, we're going to keep uh, keying on Peyton because I think that's what they're doing here with the I formation. That's going to be a false start against uh, Chicago. That is a false start, and it brings up second and 13 now. And we're just going to look for the run and uh, hope that uh, if they do pass, we can stop him. And they pass it over to Scott, who's tackled right away by Bolton. That's a 12-yard gain, and it's third and one, and you know what they're going to do. And uh, let's key the, uh, Walter Payton here. And um, Payton has got it on a uh, what looks like sort of a sweep. And uh, that is a sweep to the left. And there's no gain on that play. It ends up uh, bringing up fourth and one. And I think they're going to kick the field goal. So uh, the uh, Bears do get into field goal kicking formation. And they kick it up. And it is good. And it is 3 nothing Chicago after all that. We were able to stop them on the drive. And I'm pretty proud of the offense for being able to do that. But um, it's... Uh, uh, always a shame when we can't get much more out of it. We're going to return this kickoff, even though it's deep into our end zone, and that is exactly what I thought was going to happen. That's a big return. Unfortunately, Darden is called for an illegal block. Yeah, that's got to be a block in the back. It takes it back to the 20-yard line. would have been about at the 35-yard uh, line if it wasn't for that, and that's Hall with that big return. I, I wanted us to do that because I know that we have a big return, man. And so you can see here, I've actually messed around a little bit more. I've turned on fatigue, but I've turned on game fatigue, and I've turned on this sort of like fatigue rating thing. So we are going to go here from the beginning to Reggie Rucker. We're gonna actually going to go with a long pass and see what we can do uh, to start this game off the right way, and that ends up being incomplete. And uh, we're probably going to end up having to uh, take uh, Rucker out here before long. That unfortunately brings up a, a second down. So much for the idea of uh, trying to... Uh, uh, get them off uh, on the wrong foot, and we have a little run here from the I-formation to Pruitt, and Pruitt's going to gain about two yards, three yards. What were they looking for on that one? They were looking for just a basic, but they were keying Pruitt, 
And so they are on to us, of course, and we're going to try a pass to Ozzie Newsom. Let's see if we can get a first down here. And instead, it is uh, dumped off over to uh, Pruitt, and um, he gains four yards. It's going to bring you up fourth and three, and we're going to punt from out here. We got a punt, and uh, so much for that uh, play-calling sequence. And uh, part of the problem that we have is, of course, the uh, fatigue that's suffered by our uh, big uh, running – or our big uh, offside in the offense. Jeez, declined. Part of the problem we have is the uh, fatigue by our wide receivers. Um, so uh, – you know, the, I guess we are um, probably running the same guys uh, out there a little bit too often, which I think is what's causing that. We're going to key Walter Payton with the two um, two defensive backs there in that zone. And, uh, man, there's a covered sack for you. Loss of nine as uh, Evans is uh, sacked after his seven-step drop, which is uh, pretty brave. That brings up second and 19. We go into the 3-3, three, three, and I'm going to look for the run because uh, I think that Peyton can probably get them back, and instead they do pass it. It's complete to Earl, who um, has it right up the gut, tackled by Matthews. That's a gain of 11, which brings up third and eight, and we're going to go back to the 3-4. We'll look for a pass here. Let's see if the Bears do pass, and they do go back to pass. Good coverage, but it is complete to Scott, throwing it straight over the top of Bolton. I can't tell you how many times I have seen Bolton beat on a play like that so far this season. It feels like every single game we play he ends up being beat for um, – I don't even know how many yards time and time again. A little draw play to Peyton. He gains one, second and nine, and I think they're going to go back to this pattern again. We're going to look for a run here, even though we're in the nickel. And now they are going to pass, and so they're kind of telegraphing that, and that's a complete again to Scott over the top of Bolton, who, um, I mean, the question is, do we... Uh, so Burrell is the one who doesn't have the good rating. Bolton has a good rating, and then I was going to say the question is, do we abandon you know, man coverage and instead try going into his zone. Maybe we try doing that now into his short zone and see if that will help prevent these passes from being complete right over our heads. And uh, there is a run over to Harper who um, uh, we're able to uh, prevent from getting far quickly. That's a gain of three, second and seven now. And I'm going to look for a run again. I think that's probably what they're likely to do. And instead it is a pass. And that one is incomplete. And maybe the key is to uh, stay in zone. I don't know. Let me know what you think. We're going to do a short zone here. 3-3 three, three nickel, look for the pass. Um, let me know what you think about it. I've uh, I've just had a real frustrating time trying to get these guys playing man-to-man -man defense because I feel like the uh, no matter who the opposition is, they're always able to just sort of throw the ball over the heads of our uh, cornerbacks. And there is the field goal now, and that is no good. Surprising. That was from point-blank range from the 15-yard line. And that brings up first and 10 for us here. And um, I think that we're going to keep this formation. We're going to go with a run to Pruitt, a little um, trap play to the right side, and let's try to pound uh, the ground here a little bit. And you know that they're looking run there on first down. That's a gain of four. It brings up uh, second and six. And um, this time I think we're going to go to White, and we'll just go to the same side. Might as well. Let's see what happens, see if they're looking for it. White looks like he has a hole, and he had a little bit of a hole, but um, he was brought down. He gains three, third and three. This is a little bit more like it, and we'll go over to Feature with a very short pass, and let's see if he can catch it. And that is complete to Feature, and he has the first down, tackled by Schmidt. Uh, Sipe, as it reminds me, threw for 314 yards again in that loss to uh, Pittsburgh, which um, is a pretty good game. We'll go to right this time. We'll go to right with a cross pass. We'll do another really, really quick uh, short pass here and uh, try to get them off uh, off balance, and we do, and that is complete for a gain of 14 to right, and that brings up first and 10. And now I think we can probably do something a little fancy with Pruitt as the uh, first quarters come to an end. So we're going to try that, I think, again. We're going to try a uh, off tackle here on the right side instead. Let's see what happens. And uh, the defense has this play covered pretty well. And, yes, they are they are keying Pruitt, as you can see there on the report. Um, let's see if we can get Ozzie Newsom open here. Let's see what we can do after this. And there's a pass complete to Newsom after the little cross, and he runs and runs and runs and runs and runs. <laughs> Baby, man, Ozzie Newsom with the touchdown. That's his longest catch of the season, 46 yards. That makes it 6-3, uh, to three. Browns, extra point pending, and the kick is up and good. Cockroft has it, and it's 7-3 to three now, Browns. And, man, I wasn't expecting that at all. That was a big, big play by Ozzie Newsom, 46-yard um, uh, pass, and a uh, good pass, too, by uh, Brian Sipe. 
And a good kickoff, by the way, as well. Now the ball is with Chicago at their own 16-yard line. First down and Peyton. I say first down and Peyton because you know what they're going to do. Oh, they go to Harper instead. Look at that. He gains like a yard. But you know that they're going to go to Walter. They have to. you got to go to Walter Peyton here. And um, that's exactly what we're going to look for here in second down and nine. And uh, there it is. And uh, Peyton is tackled by Matthews there after a gain of five, bringing up third and four. And um, we're going to just look for this pass and see if they end up beating us or not. And instead, it is a, a run to Evans, who um, has a first down, a uh, gain of five yards. As he sweeps to the right, he is able to get to the outside, and that's because we're looking for the pass. That brings up first and ten. We will um, key Peyton once again. And, uh, boy, that was almost a sack. And instead, Peyton has it, and he gains four. He gains four yards, and I mean, you're keying him, and we're still able to, um, they're still able to gain that many yards. That's um, a sign of just how good Walter Payton really is. Another run to Payton, and you run to him every down if you could. We stopped him that time, though, for no gain. Third and six now, and uh, it looks like they are going to have to pass. We'll go in a short zone here, see if we can stop them from getting this first down. And they do go back to pass. It's a broken play, and Evans throws it to Harper, it looks like, and is incomplete, and we'll just return this punt. So that's what we wanted to see. A lot of smash-mouth football here, and um, surprised that the Bears, um, I mean, I know they're running it a lot. Surprised they don't run it a little bit more. Uh, we get no gain. Three yards is the minimal gain on that uh, punt return. It's at the 34-yard uh, line, Cleveland 34 for first and 10. And um, we are actually going to keep Feature and Ryden there for the time being. We're going to go to Feature with a little medium. Uh, I think it was a hitch pass. And go from there. It's going to be a, a false start on us. And uh, that brings up now first and 15. Well, with that, we're going to go, I think, back into the shotgun. And we're going to try, I think, for... Now, we'll go for Feature again. We'll go for medium slant pass. See if we can get some of this yardage back. Sype doesn't have to move at all. He gets a complete to Feature, who's double teamed, by the way. Um, and uh, gain of 16 yards, which is great, and that brings up uh, first and 10, and uh, it is at the Cleveland 45-yard line, and I think now we can go here until the I, and we will, and we'll go with a uh, run to Mike Pruitt, a little trap run, and um, see how he does, and uh, if he can beat any sort of blitz, and they're looking run on that one, I'm pretty sure. I uh, know there was a basic defense, but they were keying uh, Mike Pruitt, of course, and I don't really blame them call it for Charlie White here. We'll go to the left side and see what he can do for us. There's the little sweep over to Charlie White, who has a little bit of room to run. Three-yard gain. That's not too bad, though. Third and five. And um, now I think we're going to go quickly over to Newsom. Uh, of course, the Bears are showing a uh, tight coverage, which makes sense given the situation. Newsom just runs by everybody, just like he did last time. It's a gain of 11 first down for the Cleveland Browns. And we are starting to roll, and now we're going to go over to uh, Keith Wright on a little medium hitch pass. Let's see if we can find him. And uh, that is incomplete, unfortunately, for him, and that brings up second and 10. And uh, let's see what we can do for you, White. We're going to send you over to the left side this time. And uh, White ends up gaining, looks like, two yards on that play, brings up third and eight. Not too bad. We just sort of continue to uh, peck away at them. We'll do a short pass over to Ricky Feature. Sight back to throw. He ends up trying to dump it off to uh, somebody. Um, I'm not sure. No, it was knocked down. After that safety blitz really got Sype sort of off uh, kilter, and we're going to try a sideline punt here with Johnny Evans, see if we can pin them back. Seven to three Browns still. That's not much of a sideline punt. That ends up uh, going out into the end zone. First and 10 from the 20-yard line for Chicago, and it's Walter Payton time, so we are going to try to stop him here at the line. And uh, there's Payton with the uh, pitch out. And um, we are able to uh, read that play and able to cover it fairly well, but he still gains five. Second down now. We're going to look again for another run. I don't know who they're going to go to. And they end up passing. No, it's going to be Evans who's going to scramble, and he's going to run. He gains, looks like, about three yards on that one, third and two now. And uh, they're in the nickel. But um tell you, I kind of want to have a basic defense in case uh, Peyton does run, and he doesn't, and um, that is an incomplete pass. Bolton came very close to intercepting that one. That was a medium slant pass to Scott that did about absolutely nothing, and the Bears are forced to punt, and Parsons goes back for the punt, and he kicks it upwards, and um, we have a return of five yards, and um, that puts it here in the Cleveland 38, and this looks exactly like what we had last time. 
And in first and 10, we're gonna go back here to the I formation and we're gonna go, I think, to white this time and uh, we'll have him run on a trap. And uh, let's see what he does. He runs right past the blitzers, ends up gaining about two yards, second and eight now. And uh, let's see if we can do something here. We're gonna do a little screen pass over to Pruitt and try to fool people. And there it is to Pruitt, who looks like he has room to run, and he gains seven yards in that play, brings up third and one, and uh, we're going to have him on a dive play here. We're just going to go right up the gut, right forward, and uh, good blocking, and I think he got it short by a few inches. Fourth and inches, man. All right, we're going we're gonna to call a quarterback sneak with Brian Sipe, see if we can't get this first, first down here. And Sipe on the sneak is over and through. Gain of one on that play, and that brings up first and 10 now. And now we can try for probably a little pass, a little hitch pass here to Keith Wright. Let's see if we can find him. That is complete to Wright, who was tackled immediately by his man. Gain of five. That's good, though. That's kind of what we wanted to see. And we'll go here off tackle run, I suppose, to Charlie White. Kind of mix it up a little bit for him. There's a flag on the play. That's going to be a hold. Holding on the offense, yep. And so it ends up being second and 15. So much for that idea. And uh, we'll do a hitch pass over to Richie Feature. Let's see if we can get something a little bit deep. And uh, he was open and uh, couldn't make the catch. And that one falls incomplete. And uh, we're going to go to uh, Ozzy, I think, again. See if we can't get this first down. Newsom's got it and is behind his man, and uh, he ends up being tripped up from behind. Gain of 11 on that one. That brings up fourth and four, and it's time to punt. And so we will punt again. We're going to kick this one deep. I don't think that Evans can kick it all the way to the end zone from here. Sorry we have to call that punt again because of the uh, two-minute warning. And uh, that ends up going into the end zone, I suppose. It's one of these situations where the game didn't uh, show what happened to you. Two-minute warning, right, and then... Yeah, hi, here you go. High kick, kick touchback. This is one of these bugs in this game that really need to be fixed. Anyway, we're going to look out for Peyton here on the uh, carry, and instead they decide to go back and pass it. It's a complete to the tight end Earl up the middle and pass Darden, and that's been one of those things that we've been worried about, and that brings up first and 10 from our 38-yard line. And uh, I'm sorry, their 38-yard line, and uh, we're going to look here again for another run to Peyton. And there is the run to Peyton, just as I thought. And uh, we end up stopping him for a gain of nothing. They're going to call a timeout. There is the timeout. And that brings up uh, second down and 10. And um, I'm actually going to look for a pass here. And now they end up running it to Peyton again. And he still gains nothing. He gained only two yards on that play. And they're going to have to call timeout one more time. This will be Chicago's final timeout, and um, now, again, we're going to look for pass. I'm going to do a short zone again. And they end up running it to Peyton again. Three times in a row they run it to him, and uh, he is just short of the first down. Seven-yard gain. That brings a fourth and one. We are not calling a timeout, and, um, I mean, we're going to just keep Peyton and hope for the best. And they give it to Harper instead, and he gets the first down. So Chicago winds up getting the first down on that. I don't think that they have enough time, though, to do anything with this. So we'll see what happens. We're going to look for a pass here. I'm pretty sure they're going to pass. I mean, they can run if they really want, and we end up getting the sack. There's a penalty, though, on the play. Loss of seven. Holding, though, on the defense on Bolton, and that's the reason why they weren't able to make that pass. That stops the clock. 50 seconds left, and they have a first and 10 on the Cleveland 46-yard line. And uh, we're going to see if they pass it here again. Short zone. They drop back to pass, and uh, that's um, Bolton was all over uh, Scott there, the receiver on that pass, and that brings up second and 10. That wasn't animated very well. That's another example of a play that you're not quite sure what happened there. Um, it looked like Bolton was about 10 miles away from that. Uh, there was a screen pass to Payton that also falls incomplete that brings up third down and uh, 10 now. And yeah, man, we'll let them do this all day long. We're going to uh, look in the short zone, and we've got the uh, quarterback back for a sack. Lost the seven on that play. We're not going to call timeout, and uh, we're going to return this punt if they can even get it off. I don't think they will. Parsons is back to punt. He does get it off. That one ends up going. Looks like it's out of the sideline. That uh, means that we have two seconds left to do something or other here. Go from the shotgun. Let's put in the uh, four wide receiver set. 
we're going to go really, really deep and uh, just sort of see what happens. And uh, Sipe gives his man time to get downfield. It's complete to Logan for a big, big gain. That's going to be a gain of 47 yards. That's going to help out those passing stats. The longest catch of the season for Dave Logan, 47 yards. And we are going to receive here now that it's the second half. So we get to do it all again. 7-3 to three here, Browns at the end of uh, one half of play. And uh, that is a return by, uh, who was it? Was it Hall? It was Hall of 20 yards. Hall has those great returns. And that brings up first and 10 of the I formation. So we're going to do something a little bit sneaky here. We're going to do play action. We're going to have a uh, slant pass over to Ozzie Newsom because I know that they're going to be thinking that we're going to run first down, and instead we kind of blow the pass. What were they looking for on this one? That's the question. They were looking for the pass. So uh, that was um, sort of an idea. We're going to do another play action pass here, I think. We'll do a little hitch pass to Ricky Feature and see if we can't get him involved. And uh, it is complete as we get that one away right after the play action. Um, which is an excellent move for us. And uh, now we're going to stay in this formation here. I'm sorry, we went the I formation. And uh, we're going to run it over here to Pruitt on the left-hand side and see if we can't sort of pound it up the gut a little bit. And there's Pruitt. I thought he had a uh, hole. He ends up gaining nine. And they were looking just for basic. Uh, they had a basic defense on that one. And so um, I think we'll run it here to Charlie White and see if they do blitz if they're looking past. It would be really nice for us. And Charlie White is able to get a little bit of a gain on that gain of one. They were looking for the run. And uh, it looks like Wright is injured now, which means that we're going to have a real interesting selection here as far as wide receivers concerned. Yeah, Rucker's got to be back in there. Um, and uh, we'll do a little hitch, hitch pass, I think, to Ozzie Newsom. And that's complete for a first down. Newsom with the first down gain of five. And uh, now we have first and 10 here at the Cleveland 47 yard line. And uh, well, while Rucker's on the field, might as well pass to him, huh? We're going to do a little medium cross pass over to Reggie. And Reggie has the cross and he has the catch. And uh, he has a first down, 16 yards. And uh, Wright has been ruled out for the game. He's not coming back. Gain of 16, 203 yards now in the day for uh, Sipe. And uh, we're going to go back here to Pruitt uh, for a run on the right side. And, uh, I mean, I think as soon as we have this I formation out there, they're looking and thinking run. We'll go here to feature now. And that is complete to feature. Yeah, I think they were looking for the run again. They were Now, they were looking for basic, and they were keen Pruitt, though, thinking that we're going to uh, do a little bit more of the same. Pruitt now looking a little bit tired, which is perfectly fine. Adams now is out here, and uh, since you're on the field, we might as well call the play for you and throw a little short pass to you. There's a penalty on this play, and it's a sack. Sipe is sacked for five yards, and that's holding on the offense. Man, it's just, it just goes from bad news to worse. All right, we'll go back to feature again, maybe. Oh, man, I tell you, Brian Sipe has these moments, you know, where you just, I mean, you just hold your head. Complete the feature on the sideline, and um, he gains nine on that one. That brings up third down and six. And we will, I know Newsom's tiring, but we'll go to him again here with a little short out pass. And Sipe is sacked again. Loss of six. That was a delayed blitz, and that fooled just about everybody. We're going to try to kick this field goal. So Don Cockroft comes out. This would make it a seven-point game if he can hit it from here. This is the other headache part of this team, and that is good from Cockroft. Ten to three now, Cleveland. Cockroft, though, not really a lot of range as a field goal kicker, and um, there that kickoff is over into the end zone. That brings up first and ten, and Walter Payton, and we will key Walter Payton. I hope I clicked the right thing. And it uh, ends up being a, uh, our uh, blitz specialist there on the field end up calling the blitz. We end up uh, with a run to Harper, which gains two yards. That brings up second and eight. We will look for Walter Payton again. And instead, they go back to pass, and Matthews gets the sack for a loss of six for Chicago. Brings up third and 14. Going to that 3-3 Dick Nichols short zone, and we are going to look to pass. Let's see if we can get them again. And um, they are, do decide to pass, and that is a deep, deep, deep ball, and it's complete to Boschnagel over at the 40-yard line, our 40 for a gain of 45, Brian Boschnagel. And, uh, boy, that was an awful play by our – I mean, you get our uh, cornerbacks there in one-on-one, -on -one, and I think that was Burrell, and that's the problem. That's the reason why we're trying to play in this zone because um, if you get Burrell one-on-one, -on -one, that sort of play works. And, uh, I mean, that's just the weakness in the offense, and that was a uh, pass um, to nobody there by Evans. That was batted down, I believe. That brings up uh, second down and 10, and we are going to look for Walter Payton again. 
I'll keep looking for Peyton because they're going to have to go to him eventually here. That's complete a pass to Peyton. We were looking for him on the run, and he catches it and runs past everybody, gains 18, and goes um, across right up there to the 21-yard line, first and 10, Bears on our 21, and uh, we're going to look for the pass here, and you know this is when they're going to start running. And this is exactly what they do. And it's a run over there to Harper on the pitch out. And uh, we stop him after a gain of three. Second down of seven. Second and seven. And let's stop Walter Payton here. And it is a run to Payton. And we're able to stop him for a lot, one yard loss. Third and eight now coming up for Chicago. And um, we'll go back in the 3 3 nickel short zone. We'll look for the pass. And this ends up being a draw to Payton. And it goes nowhere. No gain, and that brings up fourth and eight, and they're going to kick the field goal, and we'll try to block this kick. They missed one from a little bit further out than this. This one, though, is a little bit more straight on, and it's good. So now it's Browns 10, Bears 6. We'll try to return this kick off, see what we can do. And uh, it looks like uh, who was it that had that there? It was Hall, who fumbles it and then gets it back, returns it over to the uh, Cleveland 21-yard line, first and 10 from the 21. And, uh, yeah, man. All right. We'll start off with Mike Pruitt, who I'm pretty sure they're going to be, uh, they're going to be looking for here. First and 10 in a run, a little trap run. And, no, they were doubling uh, Newsome, our tight end. Okay, that's interesting that he's in that game. And um, instead we end up with a gain of three, which is something. We'll do a little uh, hitch pass to... Um, Willis Adams instead Brian Sipe is sacked right away third and 13 and we got to go uh, shotgun on this and uh, let's uh, pass it to feature let's see what we can do so I turned the fatigue ratings back on and I mean it's been all right um, in theory it's realistic but in reality it just means that I have to play with the worst players <laughs> I'm hoping that this will bring the computer a little bit more into uh uh, where it should be, right? So there was a fair cast by Walter Scheid at the 33-yard uh, line, 49-yard punt, first and 10. The reason why I say that is because I was looking at the stats, as you may have seen in the last video, and um, the uh, computer in last week's, uh, uh, last Wednesday's video, the computer is just running the ball to the same guys over and over again. This was a trap left with uh, Harper while we were looking for a uh, run from Walter Payton that gained five, so that brings up uh, second down. And... Uh, they don't have Peyton and they have Evans in. They have two uh, tight end formation. That's what's going on here. We're going to go into this nickel, and we're going to look for a pass. Short zone and see if we can stop them. It ends up being Sui with the uh, run, and he goes nowhere. He gets no gain on that one. Third and five now. Interesting uh, decision on their part. And I'm going to look for a pass again, but they may just run us to Walter. And they give it to Walter on the uh, uh, draw, and he gains four, and that brings up fourth and one. As that's one of the reasons why I decided to um, go ahead and uh, turn the fatigue ratings on and all that stuff. And, boy, this is a fake punt. Pearson's with the fake, and we stop them, and we have it here at the uh, Chicago 40-yard line, first and 10. The problem that I have is I uh, – let's see here. I want you to stay inbounds. Problem that I have with this when we uh, when we use the uh, sort of so-called realistic fatigue settings is that that means that I end up having feature and Adams being my wide receivers for half the game, right? I mean I'm not certain exactly how realistic or non-realistic that is. You tell me, but I look into this and um, think I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that and what the re the uh, fatigue ratings are. At least in the few games I've played with this um, setup, I haven't been impressed at all. I've actually looked at this and thought, you could do a lot better than this. Here, we'll go to Ozzie Newsom here on second and 10 after that play gained nothing. Instead, we wait the clock out, which is kind of what we wanted to do. We'll go here to uh, Newsom again, a little uh, short out pass. But I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I mean, these uh, fatigue ratings, if we had some explanation about them, as it's a little dump-off pass to Pruitt, if we had some explanation about how this stuff worked, it would help. But the truth is that there's no explanation anywhere, right? So you're kind of guessing when you're playing the game, well, I think that this is what this does. I think this is what that does. you know. And you end up changing your fatigue ratings out in the middle of your re replay, which is horrible. That was an uh, incomplete pass to Adams. I don't know if he's even caught a pass for us yet this uh, season. Fourth and eight, we're going to kick this one. This is just going to be a touchback kick, I think. Now, we kick it down deep, down to the uh, three-yard line. So... First and 10 from the three-yard line for Chicago, and uh, we are going to look for Walter Payton again. 
in the short zone this time, and there is Payton with it, uh, running with it, and he ends up gaining two yards. That brings up second and eight. Anyways, a little bit of my frustration with um, action PC football, and um, most of the frustration comes from the fact that it's not clear what a lot of the ratings mean or do, you know, and um, how far you have to go and uh, for somebody to con- be considered too tired to play and all this stuff. That was a gain of one by uh, Harper on a dive play, which is a really strange call from your own three-yard line or five-yard line, whatever it is. It's at the Chicago six-yard line, third down now, and we're going to look for a pass, and we are going to come up a little bit closer with the zone. And uh, that is complete, of course, to uh, Walter Payton, who was tackled by Matthews um, at the 10-yard line, gained a six. He's pushed out of bounds. That is, we'll uh, return this punt. So we had a fake punt attempt by the Bears in this one. Kind of an exciting game. 50-yard punt. That brings it up to uh, it is at the Cleveland 43-yard line, first and 10. Stay inbounds, please, guys. And we're going to have in the formation. So, and see, I, I want to go here to the uh, flex one formation, right? I can use the other guys, but they're showing up as uh, fatigued. And I'm not sure entirely why or how much I have to rest them to make them unfatigued, right? It's, it's a bizarre thing. I have the uh, season fatigue settings turned off. Uh, Pruitt got um, away four yards for it. He got away from Campbell, that uh, four-yard run for him that brings up second and six. I have the season fatigue and all the settings turned off, but uh, apparently it doesn't matter. I'm not certain exactly how it works. It's not well explained. We're going to do a short pass to Ozzie Newsom up the gut, and he has a complete for first down. And a few more. He ends up with a 13-yard uh, gain. And Feature now is injured. So um, <laughs> now what are we going to do? You know, now who do we start? And so we end up with Logan back in there. And, of course, I'm going to go to him right away because he can actually catch the ball. Feature couldn't. Didn't see him complete one pass. Sipe, though, can't get it to him. Bad throw by Sipe. Feature is available. There is no penalty. And uh, we will, let's see, on second and 10, we'll run it here, I think, to Pruitt on the left side. So, yeah, as always, I'm interested to know. Pruitt gets nothing on this. It's a fumble, and it uh, looks like Sipe ends up with it. It's marked at the 35-yard line gain at one. I'd be very interested to know what your thoughts are as you watch this and um, other videos, what your thoughts are on Action PC Football's um, fatigue rating system. I think it's broken. I don't think it's well-designed at all. A little pass over there to Logan, who is uh, not able to get the first down. Gain of eight. That brings up fourth and one. And uh, we're just going to kick this field goal with Don Cockroft and um, call it good. And that kick is up, and that's good, uh, just as we were hoping. That makes it Cleveland 13, Chicago 6, with 10 minutes left to go in this one. Anyway, that is a return by Scott for um, 20-yard return to the 29-yard line. Now we really got to pay attention here, and we're going to do a short zone and look for a run to Peyton. And they run it to Harper instead, and we have him surrounded, and that is a no gain for the Bears. Second and 10 now. 3 3 nickel, and we can't look for a run because of the rules. So we're going to do a basic defense. And they run it to Peyton. And there is a flag on the play, though, and that is going to be offsetting penalties. The down will be re- repeated. Fine. And we'll give him the same defensive look, and they do the, just about the same thing with Peyton. He runs over everybody. That's a gain of 12. All right, that brings up first and 10 now, Chicago 41-yard line, and they're going to run it, I think, again to Peyton. And they do run it to Peyton, and we have him surrounded for a loss, a loss of two, and that brings up second and 12. So... Anyway, more of my complaints about this game. There are quite a few things about this game that drive me nuts from time to time, I'll tell you that. It's fun to an extent, but I can tell you that as far as season replays are concerned, there are problems that need to be addressed like right away. Tom Darden with the interception on that, we were looking past on that one. He brings that one down for a return of 21 yards, brought down to the 37-yard line of Chicago, first and 10 now, and it is time to just sort of run this baby out, and we're going to stay actually in split backs. Do a run with Mike Pruitt onto the right side. And they are looking run, of course. And Pruitt's able to somehow make his way out of that one. 13-yard gain. Man, where has that been all season? They were looking for a pass, and man, that was great. We want you to stay in bounds. We want you to, uh, yeah, stay in bounds. All right, Charlie White, and we'll give you the ball. 
First and 10 now from the Chicago 24-yard line, and White has no place to run with it. He ends up losing one. They were looking that time for a run. They were looking for Pruitt, and uh, that brings up second down. We're going to do, I think... Yeah, we're going to run it again to Pruitt. Off tackle, second and 11. And he ends up gaining one on that, so that brings up third and 10. We're just about within that field goal range. We're going to do a hitch pass over to Ozzie Newsom. And it's a bad pass. Yeah, he's running predictable routes, but there's a reason why I'm only running him short, right? Because every time I run him long, it's incomplete. So we're going to kick a field goal with Cockroft, see if he can hit it from here. And that's no good. That is wide left. All right, we've got another one of these finishes, and they end up with four wide receivers. We'll do the 3-2 dime, short zone, and we're going to just look for the pass. I mean, because it's desperation time for the Bears. And they run it to Walter Payton. I mean, we'll let them do that. He doesn't even get anything. He loses a yard on that. That brings up second down 11. And, um, I mean, we're going to just look for the pass again. We'll do a short zone. And uh, they throw that over everybody's heads right through the hands of Bolton. And uh, he almost had another interception. He's, he's had quite a few interceptions um, so far this season. And uh, we do give him that chance for an audible. And they can audible if they want. I noticed that they haven't been doing a lot of that, and that's another incomplete pass. A little check down to Peyton, and he can't catch it. And uh, we're just going to return this punt, and uh, we're just about to the time where we can run the game out. 285 net yards for us, only 249 yards passing. And uh, that's probably going to stay about the same, but I don't think we're going to do a lot different here. We'll run it here to Pruitt on the right side. He's tackled by Fennec, and uh, they were looking for a pass. Why would we pass in that situation? I mean, seriously, this is part of my sort of concern about the um, – we're going to do a sweep to Pruitt on the left. My concern about how the AI works in this game – why would you be looking for a pass there? Why would we pass on first and 10 when we have a seven-point lead at the end of the game? Pruitt ends up gaining four yards for the first down, first and 10 now, and we have White. The other thing I don't, I don't understand is why is the uh, Logan and Rucker, why are their fatigue ratings going down when we're not using them, right? I mean, I don't understand other than that there's some calculation in the game that's based on the number of snaps or something like that. I can kind of see it, but seriously, why? Who cares? All right, we have uh, first or second and nine now with 2.45 left to go. We're going to run it here to Pruitt. Of course, you know, we I don't care who's in as a wide receiver because there's no reason for me to run or to pass here. Pruitt with a big, big gain. He's going to go all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. 108 yards rushing today. This is the sort of game we've been looking for from him. That makes it 19-6. to six. We kick the extra point. That's up and good. That makes it 20 to 6. I tell you, with that fatigue rating, it would be nice if while we're playing in the game, instead of in these key situations, if guys were getting tired and we had them sit out the second quarter or something, I can understand that. But instead, what we get is this sort of wishy washy type fatigue system. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. We need more explanation as to how it works. That uh, kickoff is a return to the uh, Chicago 34 yard line. It's uh, first and 10 from the 34. And uh, we're going to go short zone pass. And uh, they have no place to throw it there. No, it ends up being complete to Scott, who gets behind the defense all the way. But there's a penalty on this play. It's got to be a hold. Now, it's offside in the defense on both, and that's a really late flag. That's a really late flag. Uh, that flag should have shown up a lot earlier than that, if that's the call. All right, we'll uh, look again for another pass as they go to another one of these uh, four wide receiver formations, and that's an incomplete pass. Threw that one uh, to James Scott, who missed it, and that brings up second and ten. Thrown to his bad sh back shoulder. It's a bad pass. And we're going to look for another pass here. And uh, Evans decides to run by himself. And uh, he's tackled by Darden after gain of nine. I mean, they want to run. They can go ahead and run. We're not calling timeout. They might call a timeout here. They do. Third and one now. And um, we're going to the dime. But we're, we can't look for a run. This is one of the problems with this game. So we have to do a basic defense, even though I think, you know, I, if I were them, I would run. Burrell picks that one off in the end zone. His fourth interception of the season. That brings up uh, first and 10 here for us. We're going to go into the eye now. A little uh, trap run over to Mike Pruitt. He gets one yard. 
one yard gain on that play, and um, they call timeout. Stay in bounds. We're going to do a uh, another trap run this time to Charlie White. He doesn't gain anything. No gain. Force them to use their final timeout. And uh, this time, uh, might as well pass it. We could pass it once. That ends up being a pass over there to White, who um, has no place to run with a gain of two on that play. That brings a fourth and seven. We're going to go slow. We're going to punt. We're going to punt this one deep. We'll eat up as much clock as we possibly can. There is the punt. It's away, and we're able to stop them there right at the uh, 49, I think, 48-yard line, Chicago 48-yard line. First and 10 now, and they have it here um, at their own 48-yard line. 24 seconds left. And, uh, man, Alzado has him for a sack of 14. Well, that's going to end this game. There's, there's not going to be another enough time for another play. I mean, they can play hurry up if they want. Um, we have the exact same setup. They try for a desperation pass. It's incomplete. That's the end of the game. That is the end of it. And so the uh, Cleveland Browns have won this one 20 to 6. And it wasn't such a bad game for us, if I do say so myself. Um, in terms of uh, team statistics, we only had 251 yards of passing, but the 121 yards of running was really the difference in this one. And that just goes to show you a lesson. You know, we do need to run the ball a little bit more often. When we get those good runs from the likes of uh, Pruitt, then uh, we can really sort of pound them to the ground. They had the ball more than we did. Um, they had more third down conversions than we did, though just barely. And for fourth downs, looks like we were about even. And, uh, man, those big sacks that we had really made the difference. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next week. Bye.